This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Hello and welcome to Into the Multiverse. I am your host, Josh Peck. If you haven't had a chance to do so, make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If YouTube still doesn't notify you, just know that every Thursday at 9 a.m. Central, you will get a brand new episode of Into the Multiverse. So CERN, which is an acronym for the European Organization for Nuclear Research, wants to build a particle collider that will dwarf the Large Hadron Collider, otherwise known as the LHC. The LHC has made uh, important discoveries and future upgrades to its power ensures it will keep working on physics problems in the future, but eventually it won't be enough to unlock the secrets of physics. At least that's what we're told by the scientists. Eventually, as scientists say, we'll need something larger and more powerful. So that's where the Future Circular Collider, or FCC, comes in. The FCC will exceed the LHC in power by an order of magnitude. So on January 15th, the FCC collaboration released its Conceptual Design Report, or CDR, that lays out the options for uh, CERN's future circular collider. Now, the FCC is part of CERN's plans for the future. In 2014, CERN started studying the FCC concept in preparation for what will occur after the LHC has worn out its use. The LHC isn't going anywhere anytime soon, though. Uh, in fact, it's being upgraded right now, but there's a limit to what it can actually do and a limit to how powerful it can be. So eventually it will, it's going to require a successor. Uh, right now, the report is all about strategy and processes. But according to a CERN press release, uh, Europe should, quote, be in a position to propose an ambitious post-LHC accelerator project at CERN by the time of the next strategy update, end quote. It also says, quote, the FCC would provide electron-positron, proton-proton, and ion-ion collisions at unprecedented energies and intensities with the possibility of electron-proton and electron-ion collisions, <clears throat> End quote. Now, CERN Director General Fabiola Giannotti said, quote, The FCC conceptual design report is a remarkable accomplishment. It shows the tremendous potential of the FCC to improve our knowledge of fundamental physics and to advance many technologies with a broad impact on society. While presenting new daunting challenges, the FCC would greatly benefit from CERN's expertise, accelerator complex, and infrastructures, which have been developed over more than half a century, end quote. Now, this announcement focuses in on the discovery of the Higgs boson uh, at the LHC. That was a remarkable discovery and one that was long predicted by theory. Uh, we've also covered that quite a bit, that topic uh, quite heavily on this channel, and we will continue to do so as news is made available. There's still a lot we don't know about the Higgs boson, and scientists say understanding it will require a more powerful particle collider, uh, much more powerful than the LHC. And physicists think that the Higgs boson could open a whole new door into physics, but to open that door requires a more powerful particle collider. So the FCC proton collider would use new generation uh, superconducting magnets and would provide provide a lot of new opportunities to study physics. Uh, it's designed to perform at energies of 100 TeV and higher, which means it would allow the study of Higgs particles uh, interacting with each other with extreme precision. And the new particle collider will also use its power to probe dark matter to try and understand the prevalence of matter over antimatter and to try to explain neutrino masses. It could even find new massive particles and would allow thorough exploration of the role of electroweak symmetry breaking uh, in the history of the universe. The FCC would also collide heavy ions to study the state of matter in the early universe. Now, if built, the FCC would be in the same spot as the LHC, the Geneva Basin. The new particle collider would be between 80 to 100 kilometers or 50 to 62 kilometers in diameter. CERN Director for Accelerators and Technology, Frederick Bordry, said, quote, the FCC's ultimate goal is to provide a 100-kilometer superconducting proton accelerator ring with an energy of up to 100 TeV, meaning an order of magnitude more powerful than the LHC. The FCC timeline 
foresees starting with an electron-positron machine, just as LEP preceded the LHC. This would enable a rich program to study the particle physics community throughout the 21st century, end quote. Uh, CERN Director for Research and Computing Eckhart Elson said, quote, proton colliders have been the tool of choice for generations to venture new physics at the smallest scale. A large proton collider would present a leap forward in the exploration and decisively extend the physics program beyond results provided by the LHC and a possible electron-positron collider, end quote. So the new particle collider would be a massive engineering project. Uh, the projected cost is in the 9 billion euro range for a 100 kilometer tunnel. If all goes according to plan, it would begin its physics program in the year 2040, uh, right at the end of the high luminosity LHC. Now, at first, the particle collider would operate as electron-positron collider and keep running for 15 to 20 years. Then it would be turned into a superconducting proton machine using the same tunnel in the late 2050s. That would cost an additional 15 billion euros. Uh, and when built, the new particle collider will become the world center for particle physics research the same way that the LHC has today. It will be a driver for innovation in engineering, technology, sciences, and industry. It'll, uh, it'll also train the next generation of uh, physicists and researchers. Uh, so, of course, there's a lot of questions that come up. Uh, there's a lot of controversy with us as Christians on, uh, you know, is, is, this, is this a big waste of time? Is, is, is this a big waste of money? Should we even be messing around with things like this? Uh, so, of course, I would, I would like to know your comments. Please leave your comments in the comment section below. And thank you all so much for joining me yet again. Don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, it's important that you do so. Uh, and also, uh, and the comment section, that's if you're viewing this on YouTube. But also, for, uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. All right, everybody, have a great week, and until next time, take care and God bless. Millions of people from around the globe were stunned when U.S. President Donald Trump shocked the world by recognizing Jerusalem as the eternal capital of Israel and ordering the American embassy to be moved there. The United States finally and officially recognized Jerusalem as the true capital of Israel and opened our embassy in the historic and sacred land of Jerusalem. Over 2,000 years have elapsed since Jesus Christ warned of a day when a man of sin, the Antichrist, would appear to lead the world into deception and destruction. Even Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu admits that biblical prophecies are unfolding, that Donald Trump is a King Cyrus-like figure leading the world into a new era of man. President Trump, by recognizing history, you have made history. The Temple Mount is in our hands. Violent protests continued in the Middle East today over President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And now the official Sanhedrin in Israel declare President Trump is advancing a prophetic process that will usher in, when the time comes, the rebuilding of the Third Temple. As the world awaits, a secret incendiary scheme is underway by religious authorities, government agents, and Jewish rabbis to build a third temple. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing in that holy place, then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be again. The rabbis, Donald Trump, and the top secret plan to build the third temple. For thousands of years, the world has heard warning that there is a coming day when the man of sin, the Antichrist, will arise to pilot the greatest deception in human history. Prepare yourself now for what is ahead with the coming Third Temple Collection. 
This incredible assortment features Dr. Thomas Horn's new book, The Rabbis, Donald Trump, and the Top Secret Plan to Build the Third Temple, where you'll learn why many believe President Trump is a King Cyrus-like figure guided by Hashem, God himself. The connection between Donald Trump, rabbis, and a behind-the-scenes scheme to erect the Third Temple, and how this, as the book of Daniel prophesied, will be the catalyst that precedes the apocalypse and arrival of Antichrist. All this and so much more. This unbelievable collection also includes best-selling author Carl Gallup's brand new book, The Rabbi, The Secret Message, and the Identity of Messiah, which reveals how Israel's most venerated Orthodox rabbi, Yitzhak Kaduri, came face to face with the true Messiah and said that it was Jesus Christ. You may know that much of the story, but now you can learn what's happened since. Discover the secrets, witness tampering, intimidation tactics, global media, and powerful personalities who will stop at nothing, including death threats and even ritualistic curses to cover up this new stunning revelation. But we're just getting started. The coming Third Temple collection also includes Shelley Neese's new book, The Copper Scroll Project, that highlights the decades-long quest to uncover Qumran's greatest secrets, the lost treasures of the Jerusalem Temple. Hold on to your hats as you'll also discover how the Dead Sea Scrolls were merely the tip of the archaeological iceberg as Jim Barfield's Copper Scroll Project tethers to Israel's modern battle for the Temple Mount, and how the secrets contained in the Copper Scroll, the most enigmatic of the Dead Sea Scrolls, might hold the key to one of the greatest treasures in Israel's history. But that's not all. You'll also receive the best of the first annual Blessed Hope Prophecy Conference on DVD. This two-disc DVD collection is jam-packed with over 11 hours of mind-boggling revelations from presenters like Dr. Thomas Horn on Deep State Saboteurs and the Secret Destiny of America, Sharon Gilbert on the return of the ancients through pharmakia, necromancy, and virtual reality, Lieutenant Colonel Robert McGinnis on the inside war against President Trump by elite secret societies, and unforgettable presentations from celebrated theologian Dr. Michael Lay. Derek P. Gilbert, Josh Peck, and more. Also included in this amazing collection, the original four-week investigative Skywatch television series regarding the coming Third Temple on DVD, featuring Carl Gallops, Shelley Neese, and Dr. Thomas Horn. Sold separately, these items hold a retail value of $180. Yours now for your donation of only $30 plus shipping and handling. Now's your chance to save big. The coming Third Temple Collection, available now at Skywatch TV Store. Order online or call 844-750-4985.